hi. Um, this is my first Instagram live video and I just wanted to answer some frequently asked questions that I get about the um, six-week poisonous plant medicine course and if you want to learn more about the course in general um, you can go to the link in my bio and there's one of the links is the six-week poisonous plant medicine course and there I kind of outline every week and really what we go over in the course and there's also a podcast interview that I did recently where I don't talk too much about the course itself but I talk about a lot about my philosophy with these plants and um, if you just want to get a better feel for me and my style, um, that's a really good introduction. There's also a story um, that I have that's saved from a while ago, and I, I think the story is called Course Intro, where I just talk about plant spirit communication and poison as medicine, which are really um, the backbone of this whole thing, this whole course. So it's a nice day. Um, so yeah, yeah, those are places where you can learn more. And I'm just going to go through and answer just a couple questions that I get or that I've gotten about this course. Um, what are the best ways to work with the plants discussed in this course? Um, so this is something that we definitely go over in the course a lot. Um, but the way that I teach to work with them is with plant spirit communication is number one. That's the main way that we work with these plants. Um, other ways that we work with them is through flower essences and through topical applications of either ointments or oils. Um, I do not teach ingestion. This is another common question. Do I teach about ingestion or how to make medicines from these plants? Um, no, neither. I Well, we, teach, we talk about flower essences, which are a medicine, but I don't teach about how to make ointments or oils or tinctures or um, anything topical or anything that you ingest we don't go over um, although I feel ointments and oils are quite safe um, the practice of making them can be quite unpredictable and it's something that I feel really should only be done by uh, advanced practitioners in this work people have been working with these plants for many years who have a long-term relationship with them and also people who were asked by the plants the plants because of their relationship with the plants the plants asked them to make medicine from them um, yeah that's all i'm gonna say about that for now um, let's see does the course focus on history or plant communication more um so the main focus of the course is uh, more plant spirit communication um, that's, that's kind of the background of every class, um, is building relationship with these plants. However, we probably spend most of the class, um, the lecture part, talking about lore and history. Um, I really love uh, talking about lore of these plants and myths around these plants and um, some historical uses. We talk a little bit about medicinal uses, although this is not my area of expertise, so we don't talk that much about it. Um, and we talk a very, very small amount about um, biology, alkaloid content, um, chemistry. Those types of things are um, not my, uh, again, not my expertise, so I don't feel called to teach about them. <laughs> Um, but they are, they are, the basics are covered. Um, does the class have a reading list? Yes, uh, we have a, um, I send out a reading list um, to all the students of suggested books and materials. However, there's not required reading. There's no, homework is not um, a requirement for the course, although the, or sorry, reading is not a homework requirement for the course, although there is, uh, some homework but it's more experiential kind of homework there's not going to be paper writing um, or reading assignments um, unless you want to it's optional yeah um, is the class recorded and how long are students granted access to the materials um, the classes are recorded we we meet live um, once a week and um, the classes are recorded we, I don't record 
the more personal pieces where students are checking in. I don't record the journeys or um, the checking in after the journeys. So what is recorded is the meditation at the beginning of the class and the lecture piece of the class, which is um, about two thirds of the class. And then um, the journey piece is not recorded live, but I do have audio recordings of journeys. So if you're not able to make it to a live class, um, there are, you still are able to journey. It's just a little different. And actually, probably 75% of my students so far have just been doing the recordings, um, which was surprising to me, but um, makes sense, I guess. And so if you're not able to make it live to the class, that's totally fine. And you have up to a year to access the recorded classes. Is there a chance to build community even though this is online? Um, yes, we have a Facebook group that is for all students of all courses, um, all the poisonous plant medicine courses that I've ever taught um, are able to join this Facebook group and we have a really sweet little community where people share articles, experiences that they've had journeying with plants outside of the class, um, artwork that they've made, um, like drawings and paintings of the plants and um, I try to share articles and different things that I find uh, in that group that I don't really share elsewhere. Um, it's really sweet. There's definitely been some nice um, relationships that have been built through that, uh, that Facebook group. Um, and just being there, you know, live to the class, if you're able to be there live, uh, you get to know the people in the class um, every week. We, you know, we check in and it's, 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 it's sweet. I was, you know, I've been teaching in person for many years and um, I've only recently in the last year started teaching online and I was, you know, curious how it was going to turn out and um, I don't feel like really anything is lost by doing this online. We still have this kind of group field that happens, um, this community feeling, um, even though we're not physically in the same space together, we're still together. It's been really nice. Um, let's see. I have already studied about poisonous plants. Should I take this course? Um, so I've had a couple students who have told me that they were already long-term students of these plants. You know, they'd studied a lot about these plants, had long relationships with these plants. And um, after the course, the feedback that I got was that they didn't learn that many new things in terms of lore and history of the plants, but every person, whether they've worked with these plants or not, has pretty much told me that the plant spirit communication and the philosophy piece of poisonous medicine has been um, major in their development in, with these plants and their ability to not just connect with poisonous plants in this course, but with all plants in their life. That I feel is like the most important and the most valuable part of the whole course is um, the plant spirit communication and the poisonous medicine piece. Um, why is plant spirit communication so emphasized in this course? Um, because we need to have relationship with these plants in order to really understand their medicine in the deepest levels. Um, if we're not talking to the plants, if we're not listening to the plants, then we're missing a majority of the medicine from the plants. We're missing like the biggest, most important part of um, our work in herbalism, our work in, on a spirit level working with these plants. So it's really important and um, it applies to all, all plants and um, the skills that you learn in this course, um, which uh, everyone that's taken this, this course has told me that they've deepened their relationship, their ability to do this kind of work, um, is will impact many areas of your life. So, um, yeah, that's it. And if you have any other questions come up about the course, um, if you're curious about sliding scale spots, which I still have available, send me an email or um, any questions, you can put them in the comments here and I'll answer them.
bye